three, two, one, and lift off. So James, since I'm going to be in space for a while, I plan to send myself some supplies. But I noticed that I have way more fuel than I need. Let's get rid of it so I can use that space for snacks. It may seem like too much, but you'll have to bring all of it. After liftoff, your first stage will burn until it uses all of the booster's fuel. But, since the upper stage calculates its job based on booster's performance, you may not use all of the upper stage fuel. Then what do I do with it? You can optimize your performance, maximize your orbit, or you can bring along a ride share. Before I start, you need to understand that there are two parts to your trip to... Geo! Okay, to Geo. First, the rocket will launch your spacecraft towards Geo, where it will get dropped off. Then, your spacecraft will have to drive itself to its final orbit location. I'll get my trajectory people on it. You don't have people, Rich. So your first option is to optimize your performance by playing planning a trajectory that will ensure adequate performance reserves, meaning you will hold on to the extra fuel as insurance for possible launch variations. Well, that makes sense. It's not like I drive anywhere with an exact amount of gas. Exactly. Another option is to maximize your orbit, meaning you would use the extra fuel to get closer to your final location in Geo. So I could get closer, but not the whole way? Depending on your flight, you could get dropped off somewhere in between your pre-launch target orbit and your final orbit. Then you would still need to get to your final destination, but your payload would need to use as much energy to get there. All right, what's my last option? You can ride share, meaning you can add other satellites, like CubeSats, and use the extra fuel to make a second delivery after your drop-off. Like carpooling? I'll do that. I was hoping you'd say that. Rich, this is Asha. Asha's CubeSat is going to ride with your rocket. Pleased to meet you, Rich. My CubeSat will be going to an elliptical orbit with a semi-major axis of 26,000 kilometers at an inclination of 19.5 degrees and an argument of perigee of 180 degrees. James, I don't I don't know what she's saying. All I said is that my CubeSat is also going to a geotransfer orbit. Now you're speaking my language. 